What is color? People can't even agree on how to spell it. Imagine having to describe it. Just try. Try and describe half the fruits to a person who has monochromacy. Uh, describe the color of blood. Fool. When orange was literally named after the fruit, and blueberries are named after the color. Even though they are more purple than anything, but purple doesn't exist. And we'll get to that in a second. Now, blue is quite rare in the natural world. Ancient Greek didn't even have a word for it, because the Mediterranean just didn't grow that many blue things. Um, yeah. They described the sky as bronze, because unpolished bronze is a pale blue. No, blueberries didn't mean they couldn't distinguish blue as a color. But here's the interesting bit. Look at this low quality image and try to figure out which square is different? Bet you feel like an idiot. Well, psychologist Jules Davidov, who was not an idiot, worked with a Namibian tribe that does not have a word for blue. But they have a lot of words for green, so while the subjects struggle to distinguish blue from green, the people from the Himba tribe immediately spotted the old green out. And that's not because of biological differences. It's true that no two people see the same color, however, this big of a difference is related to psychology. Get the Fuck out of here for you didn't get your little cocaine pinky dips into this fury. Get out. The sapir horror hypothesis states that language determines our thinking. If we don't have a word for a concept, we cannot think about it. Now that's not entirely true. 10,000 years ago, there were only words for light and dark. That doesn't mean that people back then did not distinguish the different colors. It's more like they didn't care as much. So what are we gonna paint the baby cave? Are you fucking kidding me, Karen? What? Ooga booga. We're painting it ooga booga. I literally just fought eight mammoths, leave me alone. Jenna's caring now has made our perception of colors very flexible. And yeah, language does play a big role, I mean. This is ginger? Yeah. Also ginger. Oh. This is strawberry? Yeah. This is strawberry blonde. Do you see why I'm angry? In the end, it's all in your head, literally. Is this dress blue or white? No, it's nothing. Color isn't contained within an object. Pigments are chemical compounds which reflect different wavelengths of visible light. Thanks a lot, Tesla. An apple is not red, but reflects a wavelength that our eyes perceive as red. White is not a color because it reflects all wavelengths and black isn't because it reflects none. A blueberry is purple, but wait, purple has no wavelength. You get purple by mixing blue and red, you know, in the real world where shit matters. But our retinas have three types of cone cells that trigger when blue, green and red wavelengths are present. Different colors come from them mixing. You can see all those colors here and oh, what's between blue and red? That's just green. Green is not a creative color. So instead of seeing green, our brains create this anomaly. The cone cells on our retinas perceive both blue and red at the same time minus the green. So a purple is actually scientifically just a not green. Or a lack of green. A product of a brain, not an actual color. But it is pretty weird though. I choose to call these purple anyway, so whatever. Mega shrimp, they're not actually called mega shrimp, can probably see real purple and magenta with their 12 cones compared to our measly free. It can also destroy you. Yeah, with 12 cones, they don't see different colors, just better colors and wouldn't be fooled by these stupid Facebook illusions. Our brain finds them hard because of a phenomenon called simultaneous brightness contrast. We basically can't concentrate on more than two shades at once. And I will not stand for these. So anyways, the world sucks and next time you have a manic episode, you can dye your hair not green and have some shrimp look at you funny. Subscribe to my channel while you're at it, okay?